Yeah, so she, the idea in that one was that we're either racist or anti-racist. Is that right? So we're either we're either racist or or um, if we're anti-racist, we're advocating um, for to reform race issues and we have to be making an effort and doing a lot of these things if we're not doing that then we're racist we're contributing to the issue is that right i think no there you're um speaking more about um ibram kendi i think right. he is the one who holds that everybody can be racist or anti-racist and they can be either at, at different times so right. i like him a bit better because he does accept that um you know you're, you're not naturally racist if you're white this isn't you have an individual choice there however he then um goes quite authoritarian and um and unreasonable so i don't recommend his work but um robin d'angelo is the one who believes that every single white person in a white dominant country she speaks mostly of america but she also references the uk much of europe um is socialized into believing themselves to be superior and more worthy and deserving of more benefits than um, black people. Mm -hmm. And she, um, she describes individuality as a, an ideology um, and meritocracy as an ideology of the West that enables white supremacy. And we have to believe at all times that um, there is a power dynamic going on so um, in one group she put forward the tenet the question is not did racism take place but how did racism manifest in that situation mm -hmm. so racism will always be manifesting and the job is to to find it now I as a liberal reject that I, I think people can and should reject the idea that we should evaluate our fellow humans by their skin color. I don't actually think it's that difficult to reject that idea. She does. Right. <laughs> right. 